a judge law town triple certificate triple certificate in arbitrator i'm a registered member of the council of regulation of engineers i'm a member of association of professional women engineers and a member of nigerian society of engineers just as also i'm a member of the chartered institute of arbitrators in nigeria i'm a fellow of the institute of management consultants and i'm a certified management consultant I've the management staff in Julius Berger, where I've worked up to until today. I'm involved in project development in Lagos area in general. That covers the whole of Lagos, covers the whole of the east, the southern, west, southwest zone. I'm happily married. I have two children, ages 27 and 29. I think that's. that's Thank you very much. You can Thank take you. Your seat. Thank you. At least you've been able to scare them off. Honorable Braibo, Honorable Osho, please, <laughs> please approach. <laughs> you see, your hands are not clean. I'm only inviting you to approach. <laughs> Are you <are> scared? <laughs> uh, but the deputy speaker, please approach. Why I called on um, Olatubos and Alake. Go ahead. Right, honorable speaker, uh, principal members, uh, distinguished members of this hallowed chamber. My name is Ola Tubosun Tojola Alaki. I was born August 27, 1983. Thank you very much. I attended Iyanura Nursery and Primary School, after which I proceeded to Home Science Association Secondary School, where I got my YX certificate. Um, after leaving secondary school, I went to uh, Temple University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in the US. Um, after which I also proceeded to obtain my uh, MBA at the Metropolitan College of New York in uh, New York, USA. Um, I am an IT manager. I, am, I have experience across the IT spectrum, application management, business intelligence, um, application design and deployment, business development, and customer service. I have gathered this experience uh, working with different companies, for instance, IPNX Nigeria Limited, where we are the largest fiber to the home deployers in Nigeria. I helped work on a number of projects there. I worked in multiple capacities uh, as a business development officer. I was also head of business intelligence, where uh, our mandate was to uh, improve organizational effectiveness. Uh, through process re-engineering and uh, uh, business intelligence platforms that will give critical data to uh, decision makers in the company. Uh, recently, I've been general manager of IT and innovation for Filmhouse Cinemas, the largest cinema chain in Nigeria. 
I manage the IT infrastructure across six states, and uh, we've been privileged to be the largest cinema chain in West Africa today. Um, I am uh, incredibly humbled and uh, uh, very, you, very much. Sorry, they told you that, or you know. I know. Okay. I know. I'm incredibly humbled uh, to have been called upon by Governor Babajide Sonolu. Uh, in my discussions with him, our country faces an existential challenge. Uh, in my workplace, we were executing a project, robotic process automation, uh, that was supposed to do um, reconciliation in the finance department. After that project, at least five to 10 jobs will be eliminated. And this is the existential threat we face today. The economies of the world are changing, as my uh, honorable colleague mentioned earlier. And we don't want to be on the back foot anymore. Uh, this morning, I uh, got some records uh, on patent application countries across the world. As of 2016, uh, China had the number one patent applications in the world at almost 982,000 patents. Nigeria had less than 60. And uh, we know that from these patent applications, uh, it points to an innovative society. And innovation really uh, is a key factor to success. If we look at all the innovations around us, things like ride-sharing, ride-hailing, uh, robots, uh, and uh, uh, some of the very technical innovations we buy from these foreign countries, we're always on the back foot. We need to start to create wealth within our economy by building capacity across the board. Uh, technology transfers. China today uh, made a lot of investments in these areas uh, when they were not as rich. So we don't have any excuse. Some of the things they are reaping now are things they made when they were still uh, uh, not as rich as they were. So I was, I'm incredibly humbled to partake uh, and contribute to the moving forward of this great state um, and this country. I am incredibly humbled once again to stand before this hallowed chamber. I'm sorry, I will just take one more minute of your time. Um, I hope to be working with everyone in this place to move this state forward. I am married uh, and I have two children. By God's grace, we might add one more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Frederick Oladeide. The Right Honorable Speaker of the House, Principal Officers, Distinguished Members of the House of Assembly. My name is Dr. Frederick Abimbola Oladende, PhD, and I am from Ikurudu, uh, from the Rademo family. My father is from Ikurudu, from Itunla, and my mother is also from Ikurudu, from Itailewa, so that makes me a proper Ikurudu man. I started my primary school in Surulere Baptist School and then proceeded to Ansarudin Randall Avenue. 
And then after that, I proceeded to the University of Ibadan, where I studied mathematics uh, with a 2-1. And after serving in Calabar, I proceeded to the United Kingdom, where I obtained a master's in applied statistics and operational research, which is where my transport career began. After that, I proceeded to Imperial College of Science, Technology, uh, Technology and Medicine, where I did a PhD in transport planning and modeling. And after that, I then proceeded to Oscar, Oscar Faber, where I started my career, Oscar Faber um, UK, where I began to design solutions to solve traffic problems in the whole of the United Kingdom, including Birmingham, Manchester, Durham, etc. And uh, I developed a model for the whole of UK where we were able to analyze policy before we actually implement our transport schemes. After my career in Oscar Faber, um, that was in 1999, I proceeded to join the Department for Transport in the United Kingdom, where I was a transport advisor to the uh, transport minister in the United Kingdom. And uh, there I began to advise on how to tackle problems and how to develop policies to develop transport, um, I mean, to develop transport uh, policies uh, to solve issues. And um, during my career in the Department for Transport, we developed a lot of multimodal solutions to solving uh, congestion in London in particular. And I was very involved in the development of Crossrail, which is being developed right now. And other projects which I was involved in include uh, the development of, well, um, Channel Tunnel Rail Link. Um, I was also involved in the, um, sorry, I've forgotten the projects, but I remember them anyway. But in 2008, I was headhunted uh, during the Fashola uh, administration, and um, I was asked to join uh, the Lagos Metropolitan Transport Area Authority. And when I joined in 2008, I quickly developed the Strategic Transport Master Plan for Lagos State. And in that master plan, that's where we have the blue line, you have the red line, you have several rail lines, we have 14 BLTs, uh, we have several water projects, and then we have several road projects. And today, we have started the implementation of the blue line. The red line is also on its way, and several BLTs are also being implemented right now. I am a transport expert, and I have um, practiced transport all my life. And last year, um, I was opportune to join the transition committee where we developed the manifesto uh, with other colleagues who have spoken about it. And after that, I then joined the transition committee where we developed, well, in particular, we developed the transport section of the same uh, vision. And it is an opportunity to actually be called um, to serve in Lagos, and I really want to give it the best shot possible because I've done it in the United Kingdom and I want to do it in Lagos. Thank you. Uh, I'm married with two children and I was born on the 2nd of October 1966, but I'm not too old. Thank you. Thank you take sir. your seats. Thank you, sir. Stamo, your unique band, your SAN. Right Honourable Speaker, Principal Members, Distinguished Members of the State House of Assembly, 
the foremost assembly in our nation. Good afternoon to you all. My name is Moyo Sore Jubril Onigbanjo. I was born the 24th of September, 1964. I started my primary education at Sunnyfields Primary School at Delabu, Surulere, Lagos. From there, I proceeded to St. Finbar's College, Akoka. From St. Finbar's College, I proceeded to the, well, University of Learning. But by accident of nature, our law program was canceled in our final year. And we were directed, fortunately, to proceed to Obafem Yaolawa University to write our final exams. So even though I studied in University of Illinois, my degree is from Obafemi Awolowo University. I then went to the Nigerian Law School. I served in Ibadan at the second mechanized division as a legal advisor to the commander of the military police. I then also part-timed with the law firm of Akindelano and Co because at the second mechanized division there was not enough work to keep me busy and I was so interested in, the, in, the, in, in practicing law so I used to go to both offices whilst I was in the battle. I then returned to Lagos and I was employed by Professor A.B. Kasumo-san, a one-time Attorney General of Lagos State. I worked with him for five years. I then became a partner in the law firm of L.A. Adeniji and Co. From L.A. Adeniji and Co., I started my practice in 1999, and I've been the principal partner from 1999 till date. I have practiced law extensively throughout the length and breadth of this great country. I have been privileged to appear from the magistrate courts, the high courts, tribunals, election petition tribunals, the Court of Appeal, and the right up to the Supreme Court. I'm also actively engaged in arbitration law and practice. I sit as an arbitrator in some matters, and in some matters I appear as lead counsel before arbitrators locally and internationally. In 2013, September, I was privileged to be called to the inner bar and I was awarded the rank of a senior advocate of Nigeria. Thereafter, I continued my practice. I was also privileged during the last administration in Lagos State to be appointed as the chairman of the Bile Oil and Gas Corporation. It is indeed a great honor and privilege to be invited as a nominee to the cabinet of the current administration in Lagos State. I look forward to joining the first class team in both the legislative and the executive sections of the state. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Mr. Kinabayomi. Please remove your glasses. Thank you. And you can go ahead. Good afternoon, Right Honorable Speaker of the House, Principal Officers, Honorable Members, Distinguished uh, Members of this House. My name is Emmanuel Akiola Abayomi. I was born in Creek Hospital, Lagos Island, 5th of July, 1959. I proceeded 
to go to primary school in Ibadan at Mary Hill Convent School. And then I gained admission to King's College, Lagos. And then from there I went to International School, Ibadan. And from International School, Ibadan, I went to study medicine in the University of London. On completing my house jobs in the United Kingdom, I came back to Nigeria to serve NYSC in Kaduna, where I was posted to the Nigerian Air Force and served as a medical flight surgeon to the Nigerian Air Force. After Youth Corps, I came to do my first postgraduate degree in blood and blood diseases at University College Hospital Ibadan. After completing my stint at Ibadan, I proceeded back to the United Kingdom where I further specialized in internal medicine in the Oxford Health Authority. After that, I did a short stint in Saudi Arabia at, in Jeddah at the King Fahad Hospital. And from there, I went to South Africa to further specialize in bone marrow transplant and blood diseases. I continue to work in various countries in Africa, namely Zimbabwe, Botswana, Sierra Leone, and I was called back to South Africa to become professor of hematology at the Stellenbosch Medical School and Health Facility, where I ran the department for 10 years. In that time frame, I was offering my services from South Africa to the Lagos State Honorable Commissioner of Health, Dr. Jide Idris from 2013, where we were trying to build collaborations to elevate uh, various sectors of Lagos State Ministry of Health. It was during that time that Ebola entered Lagos and we were caught without appropriate infrastructure and manpower preparedness. Luckily, due to other infrastructures that were on ground, we were able to contain the Ebola outbreak in Lagos. But it was an eye-opener for us in terms of the fact that we did not have the adequate infrastructure and the required manpower to deal with major outbreaks in Lagos. Lagos is a 20 million plus mega city with multiple mega city biosecurity threats as we have experienced with Ebola, Lassa fever, Queens College, monkeypox, and to name a few. So we've been building infrastructure in Lagos, particularly at Mainland Hospital in Yaba, where we were able to mobilize about 10 million US dollars from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to upgrade infrastructure. And recently we got an additional grant of about 5 million US dollars from the Canadian government to build the first biosecurity biocontainment facility at the mainland hospital in Yaba, which will now serve as the point of expertise to deal with anything like Ebola, Lassa fever, cholera, epidemic flu that may enter Lagos. As you are aware, the Ebola outbreak is still raging in Democratic Republic of Congo, and it doesn't appear to be abating. The WHO have declared it as a public health emergency of international concern, which means that it can enter any country in Africa at any point in time. So we are in a state of increasing our preparedness and alert in Lagos State with the outgoing uh, Commissioner of Health and his team at Alausa. I am currently Professor of Medicine at the Nigerian Institute of Medical Research for the past two years, where I am working with the Director General to define the research and medical agenda for Nigeria as a whole. 
It is a privilege for me to be nominated to serve in this cabinet of Babaji Bey Sonwolu. And I hope that I can bring my diverse experience and my international connections and my ability to raise international funding to support the public health infrastructure and emergency preparedness of Lagos State. I am widowed, but I have five lovely children. Sir. Thank you very much. I can go back to your seat. Mr. Rabi Olowo. Good afternoon, Right Honorable Speaker Mudashiro Obasa, the Principal Officers of the House, distinguished Honorable Members of the Lagos House of Assembly, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rabiu Onolakpo Olowo. I was born on the 14th of June, 1985. I am from the east side of Ibutemeta. I am a chartered accountant by practice. I attended at Saruddin Primary School, Oshola-Ke, in Ibutemeta, and I proceeded to Government College, Ikorudu, where I completed the West African Senior Secondary Certificate Examination. I proceeded to Kogi State University, where I read accounting, I graduated top of my class, best graduating student, Department of Accounting, best graduating student, the Faculty of Management Sciences, and second best graduating student in the entire university. I came back to Lagos, and I attended the University of Lagos, and I completed my Master's in Business Administration, graduating top of my class, top 10% of the class. I started my career with Zenith Bank, where I worked majorly in the investment banking arm of the bank between 2007 to 2010. I went into the health and pharmaceutical industry, getting a job with the pharmaceutical giant GlaxoSmithKline. I worked with GlaxoSmithKline from 2010 to 2018. I worked across multiple functions and across geographies. I had project immersion across the whole of Africa, Europe, Middle East, and the Americas. I was at Onted uh, last year to join the dairy giant Friesland Campina Wamco, the makers of pig milk, which I currently, or just yesterday, I had to uh, you know, take a leave. I function as the chief audit executive, where I provide assurance for compliance business partnering internal control frameworks, and financial controls. Uh, I also have stints in major accounting and finance and forensic accounting uh, association. I was chair for the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, uh, the UK-based Chartered Accountancy Association between 2009 to 2010. And uh, I was a global learning partner uh, Mr. Speaker, I have succeeded in training over 500 finance and forensic accounting experts here in L Nigeria, and most of my uh, students are from Lagos. Um, Honorable Speaker, I have experience managing donor-funded projects, running into millions, multi-million dollars, uh, majorly from what we call Gavi, the Global Alliance for Vaccine Initiative, and much more recently from the Bill and Melinda Gate. Our projects are directly targeted towards sustainable development goals. 
um, in areas of reduction in poverty, environment, health care, especially targeted towards children and uh, women. Uh, it is a distinguished honor to be here today, Honorable Speaker and members of the House. I feel very privileged uh, to be invited here to this hallowed chamber, uh, and I take inspiration from the trend that we are seeing in Lagos State, both from the legislative and the executive arm of government. Uh, the Lagos State House of Assembly is a model House of Assembly uh, in Nigeria. I take inspiration from this, despite all the successes I've, uh, I've achieved in the private sector, I feel that I am not yet fulfilled until I contribute to a greater number, a greater cause, like we are doing today. Uh, I look forward to contributing my quota to the future success of Lagos State, and thank you very much for having me here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll go back to your seat. Idris O. Salah, for me, sir. The right honorable speaker. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Principal officers. officers of the House, distinguished members of the House, my name is Idris Okonla Salako. I was born in October 11, 1968, in Oshodi, Oshodi, Solo local government. I attended my primary education at the Students House School, Ibarra, Abelkuta, um, where I proceeded to the African Church Grammar School, also in Abelkuta. After my secondary education, I attended the Federal Polytechnic Nasarawa for my national diploma in town and regional planning. And from there, I proceeded to the Federal University of Technology, Akure, for my B Bachelor of Technology degree in urban and regional planning. Also, after my BTEC education in Futa, I proceeded to the University of Lagos, where I obtained, I obtained my master's degree in urban and regional planning. Also, as a consumer town planner, all my degrees and all my interests has only been in town planning. I proceeded also and applied to the University of Lagos for my PhD in urban and regional planning. I have PhD in urban and regional planning. I started my career at the Oshodi Solo Local Planning Authority, where I spent two and a half years as a town planning officer. As a town planning officer in Oshodi Solo, I was able to prepare the first district and land use map for Oshodi Solo for the whole of the local government, which is still being used today. But I had to leave Oshodi Solo because I flair for private practice and I formed Addition as a Lako and as was aware, I have been the managing partner up to yesterday. At Addison Yasalako and Associates, we've been involved in several projects in the Lagos, in Lagos environment. We've participated in several developmental projects in Lagos. We've been active participants in the, uh, the development of master plans and modern city plans in, the Lago, in Lagos. And one of the master plans we did was the uh, Ikorodu Subregion Master Plan. We were involved in Eco EVI modern city plan. And as part of my interest in planning, I'm a member of the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners, I'm a registered town planner, and also a fellow of the Nigeria Institute of Town Planners. I'm married with three kids. Thank, thank you. you very much, and thank you, Osei. Mr. Bonu S. Solomon.
Please go ahead. Good afternoon, right, Honorable Speaker. Good afternoon, Principal Officers. Good afternoon, distinguished honorable members. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My My name is Bonu Solomon Shanu, an indigenous of Badagri. I started my education uh, career from Methodist Primary School, Boto Jegba Badagri. I proceeded to Badagri Grammar School and later gained admission to study political science, Lagos State University. I got admission to study my master's program, University of Lagos. Lagos. I later gained a um, job with federal government, Citizenship and Leadership Training Center. Later, I took up a part-time job as a lecturer, Lagos State University. During that period, so many students have passed through me, and I've given my leadership style to some of those students who are ready to study. I'm a political scientist. Currently, I'm a student of politics because I'm undergoing my PhD program. I'm happily married with three kids and and I'm <laughs> sorry and currently I'm HOD Department of Government and Politics Lasso Foundation. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you can take your seat. Thank you, sir. The Right Honorable Speaker, Principal Officers of this Honorable House, Honorable Members of, of the House, thank you very much for inviting me to the Hallowed Chambers. Good afternoon. My name is Fola Shade Amobola Adefisayo. I'm hesitant to tell my age, but I will tell it because I think I'm the oldest uh, commissioner here. I was born on the 25th of November, 1957. Yes. So, so we got that out of the way. I, I started my, I was actually born in Ibadan, or your state, and uh, my parents eventually moved to Lagos. So I started my primary education at uh, Corona School Yaba. Uh, from Corona School Yaba, I went off to Queen's School Ibadan for my secondary education. I finished in uh, May, in June 1973 with a grade one with distinction. I had uh, the best, uh, one of the best results in my set. And uh, this was the first set that did school set in uh, May, June. So at the age of 15, I entered University of Ibadan. 
I graduated from the University of Ibadan by the time I was 19, and uh, that is the only degree that I did not do well at, because uh, they asked me uh, why is the only degree I didn't do well. I was too young and very playful, and uh, frankly, I didn't do well. I had a 2-2, which was most unexpected, as I was a university scholar and a federal Nigeria National Awards scholar, both of which were for academic excellence on entry into the university. From there, I went on for youth corps. I served at uh, Yerwa Government Secondary School, my degree, for one year, and uh, came back and started work. I started work in Ibadan, because by then, my parents had moved to Ibadan. But I didn't uh, stay long. I worked at the Federal Institute of uh, Research, of Serious Research in Mo Plantation, Ibadan. And from there, I went back to school and did an MBA. I think that was the beginning of my redemption as a student again. So I think I did well at the MBA and uh, entered into the banking industry, UBA. I was in banking for like 16 years, but at the end of it all, I think I had lost interest. I'd worked in a commercial bank, worked in a merchant bank, worked in a finance house, and I'd been through all the turmoil of that time. So I went back and I, I just wanted to work outside banking and I joined the services of Tetra Pak West Africa, the makers of uh, the packs, you know, just use fiber, like the pack, not the content. I worked there for a couple of years before I saw an advert in the papers for a position of a CEO, uh, executive director of the Corona Schools, and I applied. I was fortunate, I was taken as the CEO of the Corona Schools, and I was CEO for eight years, and I think um, I think I can quote the uh, the reference that I got from somebody saying that uh, my stay there was transformational and even legendary. That was how it was described. So from uh, Corona, when I, at the end of eight years, I knew I wanted to move on to other things, but uh, there was an incident in the secondary school, and I was asked to resign or retire, whichever I wanted, and go and run the secondary school, which I did for a period of uh, four years. And uh, because I, my degrees were not in education, I had to go back to school to, become, to be the principal. So that was where I did my international postgraduate certificate of education of the University of Nottingham, finished with distinction. I did a master's of arts in education, finished with distinction as well. And uh, so I was principal in Corona Secondary School for four years possibly the best years of my life because I think I made an impact. I loved the children. I think they loved me and they still love me up till today. But by this time, I was very deep into education. I was the consultant to the Nigeria Economic Summit Group on education for many, many years. I was a member actually at a point of Lagos State uh, Technical Committee on, uh, on education. I was a member of the federal government uh, uh, committee on education as well. So I'd, I'd started working with government because I could see that here I was working in a place where my influence was limited to maybe 2,000 children or people who can jolly well afford it. So it is time to know that the majority of the children in this country are not in such schools and I owed myself and I felt as a professional to impact where the children were. So that's when I started doing a lot of work, work uh, consulting also for World Bank, consulting for uh, IFC, consulting for state governments. I have worked with Lagos, Oyo, Oshun, Cross River, uh, Federal Capital Territory, Kano, Kaduna, and Edo states in various capacities as consultant and even as you know, a full-time member of staff there. Because after my four years in the secondary school, I now went to work in Oshun State, where under the government of, uh, of Ogbeni Rauf Aregbeshola, who uh, honored me by making me the administrator of uh, Oshogo Government High School. So we opened the school. It was one of the model schools that he built, and we opened and I ran it for one and a half years. I left just as he was leaving as well, because I felt that I had done my bit and the school was now running. And uh, since I got back to Lagos, 
last year, I've basically been involved with Edo State, working with Suburb, working on their primary school, on transforming the primary school sector. I'm a noted volunteer, so I serve on many school boards, from which, of course, I have had to I've been, I resigned after I know what is happening today. But uh, they include the Lagos Anglican Schools. I'm the chairman of Lagos Anglican Schools. I'm the chairman of uh, the Vocational School for the Blind. I'm a board member of about six other schools and so on. And always, always my mantra is that um, every child deserves a good quality education. And it's, if it's, there's anything I can do to ensure that that happens, I always make sure that happens. Uh, I am happily married for many decades. To <laughs> and I have ch uh, three children who are grown. Grown children, themselves married, and uh, therefore I am a free agent now. I have done my job of bringing up my children and uh, I'm free to do anything. So I was very, <laughs> I was very honored when His Excellency, <laughs> when His Excellency asked me, when he discussed with me, I was honored. I was full of trepidation, but honored, full of joy. And I know that I will always put in my best, like I have always done well in any job, anything that I've been given. So I know that I will put my passion, my vision, my love, my strength into anything that I'm asked to do. Thank you, honorable members, for listening to me. Thank you, sir. Are you the same? Uh, okay, yours is Ade Fisai or Awu? Ade, Ade. Okay, not Awu. Not Awu. Okay, thank you. You can take your seats. Fire words online. That where it is fine car. Okay. Thank you, the right honorable speaker, the principal officers, highly respected members of the house. My name is Afayinka Musi Soluatoni. Exactly 9th of September 1965, I was born. I had my primary school at Musumaji Primary School in Obumoso. I attended Obumoso High School. Don't worry, you are protected. Just go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I went to Yaba College of Technology, where I had my HND in this admin. I proceeded to Laduki, Akintola University of Technology, where I have my master's in financial management. I am a practical politician of more than 30 years in Musi local government, all true. In 1996, I was elected councillor. I became the Supervisory Councillor for Education, 
supervisors counselor for our Greek, for information, and for youth and sports. In 2003, I was appointed supervisor for budget and finance. In 2004, I was elected counselor. I became the leader of the house and then the chairman conference of council leaders in Lagos State. I was at the time a member of Lagos State Microfinance Institution, where my able deputy speaker was the secretary of the board. I serve on the investment committee of the same board. I belong to many political parties. At the time, I was solely responsible for making sure the benches at the past secretariat in Papa Jaward was to be placed by me. I ensure after the meeting, I pack everything. I did that diligently, and that was informed. Up to now, all the posts I've contested for in Musi, the youth and community leaders have also purchased that form for me. Presently, I'm the secretary to the local government of Musi, and the just concluded election, I was the chairman, campaign, or uh, manager of the APC in Musi. I was also a member of Directorate of Research and Intelligence of Babajide Sanwolu campaign organization under the Ebu directorship of the deputy speaker. I am glad to be here as a privileged nominee of Babajide Sanwolu, the Central Governor of Lagos State. I must sincerely thank the two members of House of Assembly, uh, Motion 1 and Motion 2, for their concurrent support of my nomination without any debate or argument. The leaders in Motion, for the first time, unanimously agreed on my nomination without any dissenting voice. I must sincerely thank them. The acceptance of Asiwaju, Bola Metinubu, must not be omitted. Hence, I want to sincerely thank God for the privilege I've gotten from them. I am married to Olua Tunifayenka, and we have boys and girls, hopefully still canting. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You can take your seat. <laughs> Princess Adewali Adewebi. Go ahead, please. Good afternoon, right honorable speaker. Good afternoon, principal members. Afternoon, honorable members of the House of Assembly, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Princess Adiremi Adebowale. I was born into the Amsat Beyoko Adebowale's family on August 10th, 1966. I attended Iriti Boys and Girls left there, went to Christ Church Cathedral, CMS, where I got my primary school living certificate. I proceeded to Regan Memorial Baptist uh, Girls High School at Yaba. After leaving Regan, I proceeded to the United States to further my education. While in the United States, 
Uh, I was I started as a business administrator, I mean administration major, but I changed to nursing. So I went to Middlesex County Community College for my LPN, licensed practical nurse. From there, I proceeded to Raritan Val Community College in New Jersey for my professional associate in nursing. In between there, in between then, I was doing the sandwich program at uh, Lagos State University because I've always planned to come back home to be part of this great state and of course Nigeria. So I did a sandwich program and a part-time program at LASU, political science and education. I got my um, bachelor's in that. I have my master's in public health from International University Bermuda, where I'm equally still doing my PhD in public health. While in the United States, I have my own nursing agency. I have my own nursing home. I was an oncology nurse. I was a psychiatric nurse. I was a, a, a geriatric nurse, and I was equally a dialysis nurse. So after living in the United States for two decades, over two decades, my heart and my hope was to come home to be again part of this great state. So I sojourned back to Nigeria, 2011-2012, where I left my family, my children, and my husband then to come back to Lagos to do politics. While in Lagos, I was a freelance uh, relationship writer for the nation. I was, um, I have my NGO, the Bosiranga Foundation, catering for primary school children to make sure they eat something in the morning before the start of class. Um, I contested for the House of, I came out for House of Reps in a uh, federal constituency in 2015 and I was asked to step down for uh, a senior brother of mine. So I became the sole administrator of the Victoria Island in 2016-2017. Why this, why are uh, Why serving as a sole administrator, I'm, I'm responsible for a co-hotel roundabout. I partner with Zenith Bank to do a co-hotel roundabout. I was respons responsible for Bishop Calais Street. I partnered with the businesses to get that done. I graduated 60 women at the Victoria Island in skill accusation, and I partnered with Lassa to get that done. In 2018, I contested amongst, I believe, six men in Ekwe, Federal Constituency 2, for House of Reps. Of course, um, I contested, but to God be the glory. Um, I'm a member of Early Childhood Education. Um, I'm a member of National Film and Movies, um, Movies and So Board. I'm a mother of four children, blessed with four children. Thank you. I'll go back to your seat. Thank you, sir. Right Honourable Speaker, Madashuri Obasa, Principal Officers, Honourable Members of this distinguished and hallow chamber, my name is Shulamite Olufunke Adebolu Adejobi. Um, many people do ask uh, me what... What do you call your name? <laughs> no, I've been fighting myself to... No. I noticed you did yeah. not pronounce the Shulamites. Sugar, 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 sugar. <laughs> Permit me, sir, just to explain my name. My name is Shulamite. Um, it's actually a name in the Hebrew Bible, Kings of, uh, Songs of Solomon, for anybody okay, who reads the Bible. Saul or Paul. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Don't mind me. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Right. Um, I was born on the 8th of April, 
1973 here in Lagos uh, at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Luth, to the illustrious family of Kayode Folari and Yetunde Adebolu. Um, my father, Mr. Adebolu, was uh, three times uh, Minister and Director General. He served on the various uh, presidents, firstly President Sheo Shagari, then uh, Ibrahim Babagida Badamosi, and then also the first administration of Olushegun Obasanjo. Um, apart from being born into sort of a political family, I have little to none uh, political exposure. So um, after all that, you are taking over from him. <laughs> Go ahead. I started my primary school education here in Lagos at the Federal Home Science School um, in Ukoi, Roxon Road in Ukoi, um, and finished in primary five, where I then left to the United Kingdom and uh, was in the Millfield School and went to also the Millfield Senior School, Bromsgrove School. Um, I had my degree in law, LLB Law Honours, where I graduated with a second class upper division. Um, in LLB Law Honours, and then I had my legal practice course um, of in the prestigious College of Law in Guildford. I then proceeded to serve in the solicitors uh, intern in training with Hunter Solicitors in New Square in England. Um, I did not go into law. I was admitted into the then legacy firm Price Waterhouse um, before the merger with Coopers and Librand in um, 1998. Um, as you all know, PricewaterhouseCoopers today as is, is one of the largest or the largest and the best professional um, services firm in the uh, country. Um, in PwC Nigeria, I serve, I started as a graduate trainee and from there proceeded my career in various departments, principally in the business advisory services why I honed my skills as a subject matter expert in turnarounds, having worked on the largest administration in the globe, um, Lehman Brothers, where I cut my teeth in um, administrative and policy and turnarounds. Um, I have over 22 years professional management consulting experience, we PwC principally, um, but having um, spent 16 years in the UK, I did come to Nigeria, to the Nigerian firm of Pricewaterhouse Coopers, to work with the country and regional senior pastor, Mr. Uyi Unsarwa Pata, and also was privileged to serve under the um, administration of um, the former past governor, Akimu Midakwa Ambode, where I set up a, what you call a governor's delivery unit, the first of its kind in the nation, which was principally and essentially to drive implementation of strategy and operations um, under the governor. Now, with, um, it is my great honor to be privileged to be nominated, actually, and I actually thank the visionary leadership of Babajide Sonwulu for, I believe, what is, um, I guess, on behalf of all the women here as well, the largest nominee um, of women, I believe, in any cabinet um, in, in Nigeria so far. So I thank his leadership and I am greatly honored to be here. I have come back to Nigeria to, quote, to contribute my quota. I feel like I have a lot to give. I am extremely privileged and I thank you all um, for allowing me to speak. I thank you all for your time. Right on a brief speaker, I say thank you so much. Thank you, you can take your seat. Oh yes, I'm sorry, I'm hearing from the chamber. I am married. Um, to a very supportive husband of over 22 years, Mr. Olubi Adekola Adejobi, and I have three wonderful children who are probably my greatest accomplishment to date. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Benson.
Mr. Speaker, sir, good afternoon. Principal officers of the house, good afternoon. Honorable members, my name is Toke Benson Awoyinka. I was born on the 12th of June to the family of 1967, to the families of Shebuali Benson of Ikorodu and the Ali Balogo family of Lagos Island. And I was born in Massey Children's Hospital. I started my education at Adrao International School in Lagos, Victoria Island then. We referred to Victoria Island in those days as Okun. After that, I went to St. Martin's Primary School in Suruliri. Thereafter, I went to St. Catherine's Model School in Suruliri as well. After which, I went to secondary school in Marywood Grammar School, Ibutemeta. Thereafter, I went to England to conclude my O-levels at St. Michael's School, Oxted, England. I did my A-levels at Cambridge Tutors College, Croydon, England as well. After which, I came back to Nigeria and I attended Lagos State University, Ojo. I graduated in 1989 with an LLB honors. I went to the Nigerian Law School and was called to the bar in January 1990, precisely 30 years ago, I believe. After that, I started a career in law, first of all, at the International Standard Insurers in Victoria Island. I was a claims officer, a marketing officer. I learned the ropes in insurance marketing. I learned the ropes in disputes in insurance and claims. After which, I proceeded to Sean Peters and Co., a law firm in Lagos Island as well, to cut my teeth in law practice. Thereafter, I moved to B.O. Benson, that's Bola Olushala Benson, Babatunde Olushala Benson, S.A.N., in Ogunlan or Drive in Surulere. I learned the ropes of law practice there. We were mostly into land disputes, probate matters, especially for family members and mostly for Ikorodu indigents. Thereafter, I proceeded to the United States of America. I became a mother, had four children in America. While in America, I was working also. I worked for Sprint United, a multi-billion dollar telecommunication um, company. There, I learned everything technical in telephone technology. I worked for Divine Inc which was a policy an, um, analyst company. In 2007, I came back to Nigeria, and that's when I came to cut my teeth in politics. I came into Ifeja, Ikeja Federal Constituency. At that time, I tried to go to the House of Reps, and I was told, oh, you just came back to Nigeria. You need to go and take your turn. And thereafter, I've been there, I've served the party in various capacities. Currently, I'm the assistant legal advisor of APC Lagos. I work as a mother to my children, a wife to my husband, Mr. Femi Awoyinka. I'm a member of several organizations. I'm mostly interested in nation building. So I joined the Afeni Ferry Renewal group when I got back to Nigeria. And what we sought then was governance, good governance. We sought partnerships amongst the state governments. So we developed a concept called Development Agenda for Western Nigeria. We wrote a book called the Dawn Document. And that today is the literature for Southwest governments in collaborating and bringing development to the states. I'm also a member of the Homeland Security team, which looks into, which sits intermittently and looks into security problems within the country, within the states, um, the Southwest states, and we prefer solutions to the raving insecurity in the nation. I have been a politician for about 12 years now. I love calling myself a politician. I love calling myself a professional. I'm a lawyer. I'm a businesswoman. 
I have no regrets being in politics. I'm very honored to be here. I'd like to thank the almighty God for this nomination. I'd like to thank the leader of leaders, Ashwa Jibala Metinumbu, for nominating me to this um, cabinet. I'd like to thank Governor Baba Jude Sanwolu. He entrusted me to be a part of his technical, his transition committee. And I know I have taken away so much from there. I'm looking forward to serving in the current administration. I know that the state is going to be proud to have me as a member of that cabinet. I'm honored, Mr. Speaker. Thank you for having me here, honorable members. Thank you for giving me, granting me this audience. Thank you. Thank you. You can take your seat. I think I've heard two of you talking about um, homeland security, something. Yeah, two of you. You are the one that has, you have a house, or you keep going. <laughs> I don't think some of you have encountered them at the port of entry in the United States. They ask you how much do you have on you, you know, failing to realize, you know, the difference in culture. Africa, naturally, we do with three cash. You carry cash on you, most especially the e-transaction, which has not been so entrenched in our system. So an average Nigeria or African will go with cash. But when you get there, where do you get this money? <laughs> oh, I have a house. I'm going to my. You have a house. <laughs> uh, that is the this behind. You have a house. I did to Kumbo have. His Excellency. <laughs> you are welcome, sir. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. The speaker, Right Honorable Mudashiro Obasa, the principal members of um, the House, honorable members seated in the hallowed chambers, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ade Tokumbo Wahab. I'm from K2 in Epe, local government area of Lagos State. I was born on the 17th of May, 1972. I had my primary and secondary school education in Epe. And then I had a brief stopover at the Ogun State Polytechnic where I studied MASCOM. And I was the best student. Then I proceeded to the great University of Benin, where I studied law. I left Uniben, and I was called to Bar in 99. While at Uniben, I was the president, and I ran into troubles with the military junta, but that is in the past. Since, nine, since 2000 to date, I've had my practice cut out for me and I've had cost to work on some of the biggest transactions in the country today. I have worked on telecoms, I've worked on oil and gas, I've drafted policies and um, existing legislation on telecoms. In fact, I drafted the Telecoms Act and the enforcement regulations there too. I also amended the Maritime Act that bettered NIMASA. Recently, as at last year, I drafted or amended the Maritime Board Act, and is before the president for signature. I have a practice that cuts across telecoms to commercial legal practice to advisory works. In 2014, I was one of those persons that believed that it's not enough for you to be in your comfort zone if you complain about leadership and governance. So I contested for the primaries of my party 
and the ticket was won by the last governor of the state. I went back to my practice. I give God the glory, and um, I thank the leader of the party in the state and the national, Ashiwa Jubola Metinobu. I thank his wife, Senator Lure Metinobu, who consistently says to me every time, don't withdraw back to your private life. I thank the leader of the party in the South, in Lagos East, distinguished Senator Bayo Oshino, for encouraging me through the years. I thank the leader of the party in Ekwe, Alaji Seriki Bamu. I thank my wife, who had always been there with me from the University of Benin. And I thank my children. The two of them have been fantastic during those days where I have to spend late nights to politic and old meetings. And I thank the Honorable Speaker and the House members for inviting me before this house today. Thank you. Thank you. I think you'll see it. Right. right Honourable Member, Speaker, sorry, Honourable Principal Officers and Honourable Members of the House, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ajibola Yewande Olufunke Bonle, and I will go briefly my, my personal background and then my educational background and I'll briefly go over my um, edu um, professional background. I was born in Ibadan, uh, the third of a family of How five. Come everybody is born in Ibadan, Ibadan, Ibadan. Ah. <laughs> is there any problem with Ibadan this time? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So a family of five. Um, I got married in 1988 and I'm blessed with three wonderful boys, age 18, 17 and 11. Um, my educational background, I started my primary education in Sacred Heart Primary School in Ibadan. And I completed my primary and secondary education in England, where my father was transferred, then he was working for National Bank of Nigeria, and he was transferred to the London office. I finished from Hazelhurst School for Girls, and then I came back to Nigeria, and I went to University of Ibadan. Great you, right? Um, I finished with a BSc in economics, and I also have a master's in organizational psychology from the University of London. For my professional experience, I'm a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. I'm also a full member of the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria and I'm an associate member of the Institute of Taxation of Nigeria. I also have um, certification in psychometrics and personality analysis from the British um, Psychological Society, and also I'm a professional accredited coach from the International Coach Federation. And that is um, leadership and corporate coaching, not um, football or other types of coaching. For my work experience, I started work with Arthur Anderson, which is now KPMG, in 1994. And from there, I went on to British American Tobacco as one of the founding 
members. Then I was in NTC, but we worked out the merger with um, BAT. And um, I worked there in various capacities, from management accountant to finance accountant. Um, and I left as a senior member of both the marketing and finance teams. From there, 2004, I went on to set up my own business. I started off with event management. And then in 2007, I started a team development consultancy representing Team Building USA in the West African region. Um, over the 10 years that I was um, the uh, director of TBA, we worked with various organizations from every single sector of the economy, including um, the public sector. We worked on helping organizations and teams optimize their performance. And that also took me into um, working with leaders of those teams and executive members of those teams to identify strategies that would help them to optimize their own personal aspirations as well as their organizational goals. Um, at TBA, I also did a lot of learning and development programs. Um, I was privileged to work with LASMA several years ago in the career evaluation and training program where we trained, I think, over uh, 1,000 um, members and staff of LASMA. I worked with the Lagos Business School as a facilitator on the executive management program. Um, and I also facilitated strategy sessions um, and also speak internationally on leadership and team development. While at TBA also, um, along with some executive coaches, we founded the Nigeria chapter of the International Coach Federation, um, where we raise awareness about personal life corporate coaching in Nigeria. As um, part of the work that we have done in coaching, I was recognized and appointed as a founding board member of the Africa Executive Coaching Council, um, which is a DFID funded project to raise awareness again about coaching um, and optimizing people's individual and personal performance across the African region. Um, then along the way, I was appointed as the Registrar and Chief Executive Officer of the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management, where um, I led the transformation efforts um, in the last two years plus at the Institute with very notable um, successes. Um, I'm here today and honored to be here and to have been invited into the hallowed um, chambers. And um, I have to say that I am representing not just myself, but the entire human resource management um, community who are extremely excited um, for the recognition that one of their own has been called to serve this state. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You can take your seat. The right honorable speaker of this great house of assembly, highly cerebral principal officers of this great house of assembly, ebullient and wonderful men and women that have distinguished themselves in different walks of life who are members of this great house of assembly. I Sorry, come. Before you go for that, after this, where are we going? I come before you uh, with total humility uh, and considered myself highly lucky to be called by this Alu Chamber to come and even speak before you. I am here today, Arubieke. Let's leave all the 
titles and all that uh, honorable Yetunde Arubieke. I went to Ikeja local government, um, local council school. They call it Ikeja LGA then. And from there, I went to multilateral comprehensive high school in Ogu State. After leaving, I went to Adiola Dutola for my advanced studies for my HSC. I then proceeded to University of Ibadan, where I read BSc Political Science, and I graduated with second class, uh, second class upper division. Uh, since childhood, I've always loved to be a politician. I don't know if any one of you witnessed those days when politics would take all our pictures of the of the sky and all of us were looking up to him you are so young <laughs> yes very remember. very young <laughs> very very since then i've made up my mind that i would definitely and i would love to be a politician so that has been a guide to me so when i left university of Ibadan. I did my youth call with a company called Nigerian American Consultant. And most times I was in US. And uh, even after the youth call, uh, I wasn't allowed to leave the company because, you know, it was like a serious transformation that I brought to that company at that time. But I had, I had enough knowledge, you know, that I needed to start my own company. So I came out of the company, Nigeria American Consultant, and I started my own company. That's a point Nigeria Limited. Through that, I became MDs of so many companies. Nigeria American Consultant, Compu Point, Nigeria Limited, Taseto, just to mention but a few. But you see, in my nature, I've always wanted to be a politician. So I launched into politics, and uh, I became the first uh, through the assistance of uh, Senator Olure Mitinumbu, because I need to mention, she, she was a great mentor to me at that time. So I became the first executive secretary of a maiden local government, Agoyike to LCDA. And after that, I became the first executive chairman of Agoyike to LCDA. I later became the second executive secretary of Agbuike to LCDA. And I later, you know, became the second executive chairman of Agbuike to LCDA. In total, I spent eight solid years at the grassroots. And that has endeared me a lot to the people at the grassroots. I take it as a honor, as a thing of pride, to be called a grassrooter, because that's who I am. I became uh, the secretary to the appeal committee of uh, Adamawa gubernatorial race then in uh, the 2015 race. I was there, I, I was the secretary, I was nominated from Lagos. And uh, since then, I have been an active member of my political party. I'm a progressive to the core. And it's something that uh, really gets at me when the progressive mindset is not well understood by Nigerians or by, you know, anybody saying negative things. Because in this nation, the way forward is to allow the progressive to be at the realm of affairs. Uh, after, um, during um, this last election, I came out for the House of Representatives. And the leadership called me, they asked me to step down, which I did. So, but I, I need to say this categorically, that words are inadequate for me to express my appreciation to these wonderful leaders. Senator Bayo Sikiro Shinowo, um, the governor, the president governor, Babajide Olusola Sonwolu, and the deputy, uh, Amzat, and equally our national leader, who saw something in me, enough for them to make me a nominee. And I seriously promise to do my best in whichever capacity I'm being asked to serve this country, I mean, this great state. And uh, I equally want to thank <laughs> the speaker, because when you thank 
honorable by us, you know, be very mindful of that someone is right beside him. That's the speaker of this great house of assembly. I feel honored. I am happily married with three children, and they're doing very well. So God be all the glory. My husband is a permanent secretary, was a permanent secretary of this great state, uh, Mr. Fatai, Bashonu Fatai, Idowaro Bieke. And I thank God that my family are doing very well. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Online reward you saw no see. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Mudashir Obasa, also double, right Honorable Mudashir Obasa, also double are the speakers of speakers, Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Deputy Speaker and all principal officers, highly distinguished members of the Night Assembly, and ladies and gentlemen, my name is Olani Rajwadi Dimeji Sanusi. I am from Ikorodu, from the prominent Radamo ruling house in the Ikorodu division. I am also from the Onisewo family of the Lagos Island, also from Kuje Amuo. I began my primary school from Hope Children's School, Nigerian Primary School. I proceeded to Ibologun High School. And uh, I traveled to the United States of America, where I had to start all over again. I went to Bedford High School. I left Bedford High School, and I went to Tarrant County Community College, where I had an associate degree in health and accounting. I went further to the University of Texas in Arlington, Texas, where I, ha I, I, I had certification in criminal justice. I went further to the Dallas Baptist University, where I had a bachelor's degree in healthcare management and also enrolled in master's in management and in strategic leadership. I worked briefly with Valero Gas. I also worked with the uh, criminal justice in Texas. I also worked with the Internal Revenue Service, IRS. I worked in the Compliance and Audit Department. I was so quick to start my own business, my own tax firm. And I am the CEO of Texaco Income Tax and Insurance Services, that the business that I started a few years ago in 2012 and has grown on a yearly basis. I have, I have been able to assist thousands, over 10,000 uh, citizens in Texas, and of course, to also assist myself, because as much as I was able to get them money, I also have also uh, been able to also assist myself. Of course, I'm, I am married to Dr. Molara Sanusi, who is a nurse. I also encourage her to start her own business, and I am also the CEO. We have a healthcare agency, MacroPlus Healthcare LLC, and I, all I do there is billing and coding. So I know how to get uh, 
to build and coding. Yes, of course, I have been in politics since the inception of this great party, since 1998-99. I was a member of Haiti, AC. Of course, I traveled during the time of ACN. My dad had contested for the council chairman in Ajuromi Fellow local government, along with our, one of our, our leaders, Prince Rabiu Adio Lua. I had the opportunity then to contest for the position of House of Assembly because my dad was, of course, uh, the former deputy speaker is, was, a mem was a member of my dad's group. That's Honorable HKT, Honorable Ali Taiwo. So I left it. I didn't contest then. I thought I was, I was too young. I wasn't married, so I wasn't prepared. In 2011, I wanted to contest. But of course, I, I just got married in 2008, and I wanted to just chill, chill a little bit. <laughs> in 2015, I had attempted to contest for the one of the prestigious uh, position in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that was to represent my people and the, national, the lower chamber at the National Assembly as a member of the House of Representatives. I, 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 didn't, I didn't lost out. I considered myself not to, not to be favored. 2018, 2019, I contested again for the same position for House of Representatives. And of course, I wasn't favored. I thought in 2015 I was going to be, I was going to be, uh, I was going to have the opportunity to actually showcase what I have been able to do in the United States and all around the world in Nigeria, but I wasn't also favored. Now that I have the opportunity to serve my people, my state, by where I come from, I belong to the three senatorial districts in Lagos State, both Lagos East, Lagos West, and Lagos Central. Now it is the opportunity for me to actually showcase what I've got. And I thank the leadership of the party for giving me this opportunity to be able to do so. I thank our national leader, the Jagaban Bogu, Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tunumbu, I thank the His Excellency, Mr. Babajide Olushanla Sonwo Olu, to have included my name among the nominees. And I thank all other leaders of our great party. I cannot overemphasize to appreciate Mr. Speaker and the principal officers and other members of this hallowed chamber for what you have been able to do and all that you will do. I also thank the chairman of the committee that, we, that, that uh, screened us in the first round. And I pray that all that I want to do, God Almighty will enable me and give me the capacity and capability to be able to, to do it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. I take your seat. Olusan Yabisola. Good afternoon, Honorable um, Speaker. Uh, our nominees, please. Your memory is getting too loud, please. Good afternoon, Honorable Speaker of this great house. Good afternoon to the principal officers of this great house. Good afternoon to the distinguished members of this great house. And good afternoon to all the ladies and gentlemen. 
in this house. My name is Olusoya Abisola Ruth. I am um, an indigenous of Ikorodu, both maternal paternal sites. Can you use the mic, please? Okay, sir. Sorry. I am an indigenous of Ikorodu, both maternal and paternal sites. I was born on the 6th of July, 1983. I attended St. Margaret Primary School in Ikorodu and then on to Queen's College, Yaba, Lagos. From there, I also proceeded to the University of Lagos for a first degree in architecture, where I finished. Mrs. Miranda, please. Where I finished mm -hmm. with a second class upper division in architecture. I actually finished as the best student in building construction, and afterwards I forayed into construction, but for a very brief period of time. After which I decided to go for an MBA at the Lagos Business School. From the Lagos Business School, I was recruited by one of the world's largest multinationals in the food and agribusiness industry, Olam International, where I joined under the West African Management Training Program. And within a space of three years, after a stellar performance, I was promoted and joined the senior management of the Olam Rice business globally. I became one of only two women on a team of 60 handling the entire rice business platform for the company. And um, I specifically was in Ghana up until yesterday, handling the rice operations, sales marketing, and supply chain management, where I oversee the entire team working towards achieving revenues of close to $100 million annually, working with over 200 small medium enterprises, being in charge of credit and risk and financing of these small SMEs, working towards a livelihood charter where we deal with labor practices, sustainable labor practices, where we deal with the credit financing, where we deal with sustainability in environmental protection, and also trying to make sure that the economy of the country of Ghana is prosperous towards job creation and employment. Um, I feel honored to be a part of this great team. I feel honored to have been nominated because I told myself when I saw the names on the list, I do not deserve to be here. But if my name is here, then the little that I was able to achieve in Olam, where my stellar performance propelled me very fast to a senior management level, I believe I can bring the same energy into Lagos State. And I believe Lagos is great with a great team of members working hard towards ensuring that Lagos is a 21st century economy. But I believe Lagos can even be greater. And I believe that going forward, we should get there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She is married. <laughs> I don't know where marriage has become part of requirements. Marriage, 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 marriage. What is your business being deep married? Uh, you don't ask the men if they are married.